Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm here to do a love reading for you today. How you all doing? I missed you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It helps out my channel tremendously and I'm so grateful for you all. And also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box below. Okay, let's get into your reading. Two overall energies for the beautiful Scorpio. Ooh, okay. Brand spanking new. Something. Somebody's ready to give birth to some brand new idea. I'm feeling like Empress energy. Okay. The, the Earth Mother. You know, in traditional tarot, she gives, you know, she's actually giving birth or pregnant or. Um, somebody might be welcoming a new little baby family member into their life, but um, I'm feeling like somebody's ready to give birth to something new, welcoming a new opportunity, something that's in just in the beginning, something that's being nurtured, something um, that needs or requires your full attention, okay? All right. And what else do we got? All right. The Fool Energy. Taking a leap of faith. Brand new beginning. All right. Something regarding, I don't know. You know, the Fool Energy is that childlike energy that is fearless. Okay. That, that will worry about the consequences later. But somebody's ready to take a leap of faith because they want new adventures they want a change they want something new out with the old in with the new energy okay so first off we have birth okay it says universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility so i'm also getting ace of pentacles energy you know um an opportunity might land right in your lap that you weren't expecting but you are expected to nurture it and take care of it because it's something that's going to grow into something very abundant. I feel like financially and I'm also feeling like emotionally, like will help you, um, something that's going to help with like your healing process or I don't know why am I feeling at help you, um, Bring out those best parts of yourself. I, I'm not, okay. And then it says, fool, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. So, this is the start or the beginning of something really beautiful. Okay, so this, I said this is a love reading. So, you know, this has to do with a, a, a partnership being aligned with your soul partner okay let's see let's get into it with the kipper for the scorpio why is birth and fool here for the scorpio like and i'm also feeling like somebody wants a new beginning somebody wants another chance okay but like i said the birth energy is here and that's empress energy you know the empress is the queen of all queens is the birth mother and she gives birth to new i ideas and she gives birth to new opportunities that might help others so you might be coming in a connection with somebody that can really help you okay maybe uh, somebody that is experienced somebody that might have been where you you were at one point and they're coming in to lend a helping hand all right let's see for the scorpio Okay, <laughs> I think I hit the nail on the head. We have the Empress card that wanted to come out. What was I just saying? She is the queen of all queens. She is a Gaia. She is the Earth Mother. She represents that motherly energy, okay? She's the catch. She is, um, you know, she gets a lot of admiration. She gets a lot of attention. Maybe somebody's seen you in this light, in this Empress energy, Scorpio, okay? They think you're really beautiful. They like how you carry yourself. There's something about your face. There's something about your eyes, okay? You have somebody's complete attention. 
you might be distracting somebody from somebody else, okay, when you're in this energy. This Empress has all sorts of people that show up, okay? Sometimes they're married, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're single, sometimes they're, you know, in king energy, knight energy, page energy, um, but she only wants her one and true love by her side, which would be someone in emperor energy, okay? Somebody that's her match. You might be aligned because this person in this picture has caught eyes with someone, okay? <laughs> so somebody's very intrigued, somebody's very interested. Also, you cannot approach this energy in any sort of way. You know, you have to come correct. But somebody needs to be brave, okay? So my, you know, this emperor and empress energy is intimidating, but something about the empress energy and their nurturing ways, they make somebody feel comfortable. They always put somebody's soul at ease, okay? So, I don't know. Somebody's seeing someone as the end all be all, okay? All right, for the Scorpio. Somebody also might be looking to start a family and getting married with someone, okay? We have birth and then we have, you know, uh, the, the, the motherly quality, or the mother figure or something. The mother to someone's children energy, wifey, okay? <laughs> All right, for the Scorpio. Okay, we have toil and labor here. So you might be crossing paths with your person through uh, some sort of work venture, okay? Or so, there's some sort of difference. Like I said, I was naming off like all the energies, okay? The Empress energy is here. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra. You don't have to be, but... Somebody is finding it very burdensome to approach their person because they see their person as big time, okay? <laughs> with, this, with this house here, this big, you know, luxury home or something like that. Like somebody holds you in very high regard or you carry yourself that way and this, it might be a little intimidating or something for someone. Okay, so... I don't know if somebody like thinks that it's like too much of a burden to approach you, Scorpio, or like I said, you came across this person through some sort of work venture. Because somebody's been holding back their feelings. And that in itself is a burden, okay? Somebody doesn't want to carry around that burden anymore. All right. One more for the Scorpio. Oh my God, all right, I think I hit the nail on the head with this one. Here we go, ding, 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 777, all the cherries, payout time. Okay, this is good karma. This is a wish being granted, but it only happens if somebody is brave enough to take the chance and follow through. We have marriage here also, so somebody, um, is someone's wish come true? Um, but somebody's also reluctant to take the risk to get to their person, okay? Somebody might be on their third serious relationship or their third marriage, quite possibly. Or this marriage might have to do with a third party situation. I don't know. Why am I hearing more than merrier? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. But like I say, you know, you don't just walk past the slot machine and thinking you're going to score. You're going to, you know, hit it big. You have to make the effort. You need to scope out those slot machines. You have to, you know, which one feels lucky to you. You have to make your pick. 
and you gotta go with it. And then you have to, you know, take that coin out of your pocket, put it in the machine, pull the lever and see where it goes. Wish for the best. But I feel like if somebody takes the chance in the long run, it all works out, okay? You get your person, the person that you want to be with, the person you want to commit yourself with. Like I said, she, she doesn't have her counterpart in this picture, but here she does, okay? All right, let's see what else. Let's get into, what is the problem here? Um, let's get into it with the tradition first. Traditional tarot, what's going on with the Scorpio? Somebody's sorry. All right, we have the wounded warrior energy. It's like somebody's tried several times maybe to get to you, Scorpio. But when they get to the line, they don't cross it. They retreat. Or they That's what I'm feeling. They try to reach out several times, but they can't bring themselves to pull the lever okay they, they get a little scared they get a little intimidated and they fall back okay but the wounded warrior energy um is that energy that is, has faced a lot in their in their day okay face many battles but they live to fight another day but somebody might be surrendering one last chance, one last try, surrendering to love, surrendering to their person. Somebody might be coming through and taking action, all right? All right. <laughs> Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy with the wands. Um, but you don't have to be. That's just the energy your person is in, okay? All right, another one for the Scorpio. All right. So somebody's very worried <laughs> okay somebody's um is in like their head about this situation they're holding themselves back they don't know what to do i'm just feeling like somebody's like self-doubting the situation self-doubting themselves self-doubting you know do they even like me with that they're like really burdened by what's going on in their own head okay also something about, oh, you know, this is also in this deck, you know, the prison card going to jail or something like that. But, you know, with the sword here, like a prison of their own making. Also, something's being hidden. Somebody has a blindfold on. Hmm. Why is that there? for the Scorpio. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands energy. Passion, fire, and desire. Okay. So the Queen of Wands is that fiery energy. Okay. This person catches a lot of eyes. This person, somebody's very, very attracted to their person. Okay. This wand is all lit up. <laughs> okay. Um, the Queen of Wands is the master of passion, fire, and desire. She um, is the queen of law of attraction. She calls, you know, she commands a room. She is a presence all on her own. And people are intrigued and mesmerized and want to know more. Okay. Um somebody's crushing on somebody that they're really attracted to and they're scared to let this person know because they're a little intimidated is what I feel they're very attracted to this energy this empress energy that might be you know very attracted they're very attracted to you okay to like your your appearance or how you carry yourself and that the, their attraction it, it it almost scares them or something like that i don't know <laughs> and it, yeah i'm just feeling like an intimidation factor here all right 
somebody's coming forward all right somebody might be taking a trip somebody might be receiving a pop-in somebody might be driving past somebody's home somebody might be traveling to their person somebody's definitely taking action and something is in the works right now with the eight arrows of love or they see there's a lot of competition. What did I say? For the Empress, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of ones coming towards. Okay. There's a lot of ones coming towards the Empress energy. Okay. So somebody's like, do I even have a chance? Okay. All right. Another one. Oh, here it is again with toil and labor with the eight of pentacles in this deck. Okay, you most you might be dealing with earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because here she is again, Queen Money, Queen of Pentacles. That is earth energy. Okay, somebody sees somebody in very high regard. You know, she's very nurturing, she's very loving, she's very caring. So now we have two queens on the board. Um, and what did I say? The Empress is the queen of all queens. So somebody is very attracted to you and somebody just loves your, your motherly nature, your nurturing nature. I'm, I'm high honor, high respect. They see you, you know, <laughs> you know, as the queen of wands, dirty and flirty, but they also see you're very grounded in your behavior and the way that you conduct yourself and the way that you do business, okay? <laughs> they see that you're a hard worker. Um, you put your nose to the grindstone, but somebody is, somebody's spying on you, okay? There's a rat on this table, okay? So I feel like somebody is watching somebody work or watching through, somebody's keeping tabs on their person, let's just say. But I don't feel, you know, with this energy of the, <laughs> with the eight of swords here, when I said jail or legalities, that's what the swords represents. I don't know if they're keeping tabs on you. It, they might be crossing the line okay something might be a little illegal <laughs> I'm feeling with that rat here spying I'm feeling like uh, I'll just say it like a hidden device like somebody's doing something illegally but somebody might be afraid that they're gonna get caught so I'm, and I know I it's like somebody might be they're this little rat might be exposed and got themselves in the rat trap, okay? But I'm also feeling this energy as somebody's trying to cover their tracks. Okay. All right. Another one. <laughs> yep. Somebody was sneaking in and out. Somebody has access to someone in one way, shape, or form. Somebody's sneaking in and out and stealing somebody's information. I don't know to use it against them to spy on them okay this is the seven of swords so as you can see this person is a place where they shouldn't be they snuck in and they snuck out they do it every time that they want to I don't know if you've been hacked but somebody has access to your information okay and they're looking back to see if you know or see if you know but there there is something that is tracking it back to them with these two swords on the on the ground here, it will be traced back to this person, whoever did that, okay? Here it is with the swords. Okay, this could this could land somebody in jail quite possibly. So somebody is gonna do anything, they, if they're caught, anything they can do to cover up their lie, to cover their tracks. All right, another one. They've been doing this for uh, quite some time. <laughs> But I feel like their little sabotage or whatever they're doing is going to be exposed. Here it is with the squirrel overlooking this night's journey. Okay. Something that's in a tree. I don't know. You know, the, the spy device of our time is those drone cameras. You can set those fuckers up anywhere. You can hide them in a tree. You can put them on a roof. I don't know. But somebody's been keeping watch on somebody for quite some time. 
All right, let's see. Yes, over somebody's house. Over somebody's home. This is the Ten of Cups. This is somebody's house. This is the Ten of Cups. Um, this is a family that, you know. Okay. This is, you know, the Ten of Cups' is energy is having it all with the person you love. Somebody's been spying on someone. Something about somebody's family, somebody's house, okay? All right, let's see what else. Don't shoot the messenger. This duck speaks. What else can we dig out for the Scorpio? I hate nothing about you. All right. So <laughs> if somebody is spying on you, they ain't got nothing, okay? They really don't have much. <laughs> Unless they embellish it, okay? Like, they don't have much, but they don't hate anything that they, the, their findings have been unfound is what I <laughs> It's actually the opposite. They like what they see or something like that. All right, for the Scorpio. Oh, God, what the fuck? All right. <laughs> I told you, somebody is hot and horny for somebody. It says tantric sex. So somebody is like daydreaming about their person, thinking naughty thoughts about their person, envisioning what it would be like with their person. Somebody's, somebody's coming to somebody's door, okay, with some sort of confession. It says confession, releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. Oh, so somebody's somebody's coming clean somebody's ready to spill the beans somebody's ready to come forward and throw their hat in the ring okay <laughs> okay or somebody's coming clean with the spying shit because if they don't then they risk really going to jail. With it. And that's you know sometimes I get that with these eight of swords, but, the, but with the seven of swords and the the eight of swords combined, somebody did something a little under the table, or somebody did something that they shouldn't have. Okay. And uh, okay. Toxic. Something toxic? What is toxic for the Scorpio? Like somebody may have done something against their moral judgment or something evil. I don't know. What is toxic? Private relationship. Ooh, they did something in private or... Okay trying to hide their feelings for someone or hide their crush or the you know spying on somebody in private without somebody knowing okay private relationship okay like that somebody's privacy invading somebody's privacy somebody was being toxic what leads people to be toxic Sometimes jealousy and envy, okay? All right, let's see what else for the Scorpio. Knowing they fucked up. This is why, knowing they fucked up. All right, somebody's in their own head. Somebody is in a prison of their own making. Somebody put themselves in time out. Somebody did... Some, okay. Fake apology up next. Okay. Somebody wants to apologize, but somebody might feel like you won't believe them. Okay. All right. Uh, what is the message? Okay. I got to start wrapping this up. I'll do one love message from the Romance Angels for the Scorpio.
It says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I feel like somebody's coming clean. Okay? The truth shall set you free. There's some sort of confession coming. Okay? That's going to, like, help someone release a burden. Um, that's going to give somebody clarity. I felt that with the Nine of Wands. Like, somebody wants to surrender and come clean. Maybe admit There's, there's going to be a lot of things being exposed and let go here, okay? <laughs> All right, what is the message between Scorpio and their person? I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Again. There's an apology coming, but somebody might not believe or trust what this person has to say. It says, I'm sorry. Oh, we've had this in your, a few other readings for you too. Excuse me. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. All right, I'm going to leave it there for the Scorpio. I hope this message helped you. If you'd like to know more, if you'd like to book a personal reading and really get down to it, <laughs> all that information will be down in the description box below. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.